Hello, my name is Tom. That will be in this Create Studio 3 tutorial, I will show you how to save your modified characters so that you can use them in your future projects. This is Patrick taking over for Randy. Whoa, whoa! With Create Studio 3 tips short. With the introduction of Create Studio 3, there's a customizable character. Right away, people asked, when will Create Studio release more characters? Like you, Randy is eagerly awaiting more characters, but in the meantime, it is possible to create an extremely large number of characters based on the Tom character in the original release. When you use a 3D creator character, you have the ability to change appearance, clothing, and accessories, which is what I'm doing right now. Customize is a super cool feature that Create Studio 3 provides, but you may not want to recreate your favorite version of Tom in your future projects. I understand Create Studio is working on a way to save your version of the character, but until then you can save your Tom creations into a collection that you can access whenever needed. Here is how to do it. Right mouse click on the Tom track you just customized and give it a meaningful name. I will name this one Athlete Tom. Next, right click and group the track. That's right, we are going to group a single track because that allows us to do some more actions. Rename the group to the same name you used previously. I know it sounds like an extra step, but trust me, you will be glad you did. Right click the track again, and this time select Save to My Scenes. Now you see Athlete Tom added along with the other Tom characters Randy created. Anticipating more characters in the future, I will move Athlete Tom into my Tom Characters folder. Where did this folder come from? If you click on All Scenes, you will see a folder called My Tom Characters. You can make a new folder by clicking on the new icon that you see here. That is how you can build an amazing library of characters, all based on the one Tom provided. Now let's see how to use these characters in a new project. Click on the scenes icon that looks like this. Select My Scenes, then select your Tom folder. Drag a Tom character onto the canvas or timeline. Right-click on the track and select Ungroup. Now you can add or change your character's actions. Let's add in Business Tom to shake hands with Beach Tom. Then add in an audio clip that says, Hi, I'm Tom. Tip. Since you have a unique name for each Tom character, you are now able to specify which character the audio will be lip synced to. If your scene has a lot of different Tom characters, you don't want to guess which Tom to apply the audio to. That is how to save and access your favorite version of Tom. Wait, what? There isn't a customizable version of me? This is not right. I don't want to stand around in my underpants all the time. Hey everybody, have a good day and happy creating.